Hey, this is Austin Wasserman with High Level Throwing, and we're going to talk about Sid Romero's throw from third base. So let's get started. So really, really important thing that we have to start with is Chez is in this video. So that's phenomenal. She's definitely smiling. It's really great. Okay, let's get to Sid's throw. So she's loaded. Her hips are fielding the ball nice and low. Go to the next frame, please. She starts to transition, and she starts to bring the ball up kind of towards her right shoulder, kind of rib cage. So this is a posterior view, so obviously we're not seeing the front, so we're just kind of working on what her arm's doing and from the backside. So she kind of loads up that right arm towards her rib cage, towards her shoulder. As she strides, so as she strides towards her target, this arm is working back, kind of towards us, towards the camera. That's really important to understand because the shoulder blade, that triangular bone, has to work towards the spine. So there is a lot of movements that this shoulder blade can do that's really, really critical to help set up the arm for a proper throw. So as the stride occurs, the right arm, the throwing arm, starts to work back because the shoulder blade is working towards the spine and loading up the arm. As she starts to rotate towards her target, you can see obviously the arm has disappeared because it's a posterior view, but the glove side is kind of staying tight to the body, and again, the torso is rotating towards the target really, really efficiently. Next frame, she starts to you know, st release and unravel this arm. She's at third base, so the ball is working up towards the infielder. So you're gonna see when she finishes her throw, that arm is actually gonna work to a higher, higher position, and you'll see it in this next frame. That arm kind of works up and across as the torso continues to rotate. So we have to understand how to create velocity is between the hips and the torso. We have to understand the interaction between those two structures. So let's kind of start again at this uh, infield position at third base. She's fielding a ground ball. She receives it. There's a lot of good weight shift. There's Chez having a good time. Go to the next frame. She starts to bring the ball up to her right side, right shoulder, right side rib cage. She's loading up. Go ahead to the next frame. As the stride works out, the, again, that right arm, that throwing arm works back because that shoulder blade is, is helping pull the arm back into load. She starts to rotate her body, right? The torso rotates. The glove side stays nice and tight to the body, to the torso. And then she'll unravel that arm towards ball release. And rotation of the torso is still occurring. So you'll see that next frame that she's having really good interaction between her hips and her torso, and that throwing arm is following through along the same pathway that she released the ball with. So this is a really awesome clip to see, a lot of good components, and thanks for watching.